We got good equipment. Right now we have a 220, uh -huh. working on some more, but we're gonna make sure we get all good equipment. Gold's here, man. We just gotta figure out where that pay level starts, pull it out, and we're good. Short on returning crew, Fred drafted in his stepson, Christopher Parker. You guys wanna go see it? Yeah, Hell let's go yeah. check it out, bro. So how you been, Stuart? Uh, good, man, I'm not gonna lie. It was pretty tough coming up here, man. Fred's leased eight claims on California Creek, a remote, unproven piece of virgin ground over 40 miles away from the nearest town. He stripped an area to mine that's the size of four football fields. But he still has another three feet to go before pay dirt. Now, I have a pretty good feeling about this season. This is the wild, wild west when it comes to gold mining. I've been dying to get up here. Water inspectors are here. They have the ability to shut us down and make our life a living hell. Fred is talking with the inspectors. He's kind of giving them a lowdown. You know, if these guys aren't happy, then we're going to be very unhappy. You can kind of record a little bit, but camera's down here in a minute. Those guys, I don't think they're in a very good mood. It's just extra work that's just gonna put us more behind. I think at this point what we have to do is uh, be compliant. Yeah. And do what they want, make them happy. Yeah. But it's also gonna teach us how to do it right. We gotta remove all the overburden and topsoil from around the creek. We've gotta get gravel and build berms, and we gotta lay gravel on our road. After that, we've gotta stop permafrost that's leaking into the creek. Okay. So we've got a huge laundry list to do, but it's all stuff we relatively had to do anyways. We're gonna have to basically focus on every single thing he told us to do. Yeah. Until then, we're not doing anything else. We got a week to do it. We're gonna have to run 24 hours, but I still don't know if we're gonna get through it then. Well, you know what? We could sit here and about it all day long, I think, but the, the key is we have a lot more work to do now, so yeah. we're really gonna have to focus from this point on and just knock this out and do it focus. right. He so said it. Let's focus. get to going. Focus, yeah. definitely. Cool, Roger that. Right now I'm pulling double duty. I'm doing the excavator and uh, I'm also doing the rock truck. We're trying to get this mud out of here. You know, it's not a simple task. Oh my gosh, he's losing dirt all out the truck, man. All that muck right now is on top of our new road we just built. Oh my gosh. This tedious bull of removing muck is getting on my nerves. You know what? I don't like leaving things unfinished. Uh, this was my problem all day, but we were at shift change, so this is now Fred's problem. Hopefully it won't be mine in the morning. We got a lot of the road built already that we worked on last night and this morning. It's a pretty good feeling that we're actually accomplishing something. So this is the end of our road. We've already punched about a quarter of a mile of this road, and this is the only section we have left to finish. Literally, this is it. What I'm doing is I'm bringing in gravel from the other spots of the claim and dropping it on the road, and then padding it in so it stays nice and firm. All right. Fred's been collecting gravel higher up the hill. No clue. Oh, this is all ice. It's 
Now I've got to try and turn myself so I don't flip. This sucks right now because I'm facing sideways and I'm just sliding on ice. The 220 excavator weighs 28 tons. Uh, you know, I jumped out of planes at 22,000 feet. It's the highest I've ever jumped, and I never was nervous. And uh, that 60 feet <laughs> in the excavator definitely made me shake. What's up, man? Hey, hey. What are you up to, brother? How are you guys doing? Good. After a week of work, Fred's time is up. The water inspector is due to return today. If their road and the berms don't measure up, the site could be permanently closed. There's nothing he told us to do we haven't done. Yeah. The question is, did we do it good enough? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're new at this. Yeah. All greenhorns. Yeah, all greenhorns. <laughs> I think we've moved more dirt, just the four of us, than we moved all season last season. That's, uh, we worked our butt off doing it. Yeah, yeah so. I'm really proud of you guys, but at the same time, this water guy could come in and say, it's not amazing and shut us down. That's what's really scaring me right now. Yeah. If he shuts us down, I'm We're just... done. It sucked to put in all this work just to have us go home because of just a couple mistakes. He's here. All right. I'm going to go deal with this guy. I guess it's now. Yeah. Good luck. Hey, you guys can't film him. Sorry. <laughs> How you doing? We're winning. You want to go see? I'll walk with you. Just in case you got questions. After an hour of walking the site, Fred is given a decision. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that sounds well, like well. disappointment. You took forever. Right? That was a military <laughs> white glove inspection. Really? really? You know, that was probably one of the most stressful things I've gone through. It really felt like basic training and the drill sergeant checking my sock drawer. <laughs> um, there were some issues, but the key is we passed. <laughs> passed. Good deal. We passed. Was he happy was is he happy with what uh, he, he what was he extremely saw? happy with our berms and our roads. He thought they were great. So things. essentially we live to fight another day. Let's get to it and let's get some gold. That's no, a relief, man. Know. That yeah. is a Good relief. Hey, relief. All you guys did it. All you guys did it. Yeah. All yeah. three I of know. you. <laughs> it couldn't have gone any better. We got to get back to work. We're, we're through this hurdle, but you never know when you can come back. So we got to keep it going. <laughs>